Hectic never wanted to be a hero. He was content with his life and wanted to live out his years in quiet, dignified anonymity. Sadly, it was not to be. Kurt was employed as a janitor for Dr. Fluke Hawkins, eccentric man of science. The messes were large, but the pay was good. So when Hawkins left, Kurt followed. Little did he know what was to come. The doctor had wished for a place away from his detractors, away from those that thought him mad. With janitor in tow, he left the earth, vowing to return only when his genius was proven. The greatest of the doctor's inventions in exile was the six-legged canine, Max. Max was the perfect assistant, and his appreciation of firepower made him a fine watchdog as well. All was peaceful until the invasion. Aliens from a strange dimension attacked the Earth, arriving on energy streams and landing great mine crawlers to destroy everything in their path. The forces of Earth were helpless before the onslaught. Dr. Hawkins had to act. Kurt was outfitted in an untested coil suit and sent to try and disable the machines. He was reluctant, but he had no choice. He was the Earth's last hope. Kurt fought valiantly, driving to the very heart of the invasion. There he challenged the alien leader, a grotesque creature named Gunter Glut. And with Max's aid, Kurt was victorious. As their leader fell, the invasion crumbled and the aliens retreated, their tails between their legs. In their wake, they left the earth battered, despoiled, even ruined, but not beaten. No, not beaten. Now, with the aliens routed and order restored, our heroes can return to their normal everyday lives. Or can they? Only time will tell. Come, Toast, Kurt. You've done well. Everything's Jake for sure. Uh, yeah. Well, whatever. Don't sell yourself short. Those aliens never knew what hit them. A major setback for them, I'm certain. Yeah, I'm glad it's over. Yes, it's all over. I just knew it. Mine crawler in sector 8675309. 530. Good gravy! That's Edmonton! Well, Kurt, I hope you're up to saving the world one more time, eh? You sure are quick to send me down. You're the man for the job! Max and I will help if we can, but for now it's up to you! Jinkies! I'm so proud! Before you begin your assault, Kurt, I've got to refresh your memory on how to use the coil suit. Use your directional key and move around. Try pressing two buttons at the same time for diagonal movement. Use the mouse to both up and down and turn the last time. Once your mouse is moving about, stand by the arrow in the central suit. Face the exit. This is where we begin with the shooting. Now, let's 
learn to jump, use your parachute. Look for the lowest floating platform in this room. Run toward it and jump on it by hand. Now, jump to the platform closest to you. Fire panic up to the next platform. Press and hold both jump up and the forward button. Slide your hand. Try jumping on that nearest platform. You'll notice you can't land the first on that one. But you can jump high enough to grab onto the left and pull yourself up.
Doctor, the pilot is gone. What now? I did not. What's that? Sorry, you turn your thingy up. I'm not getting a signal, my boy. Speak from the diaphragm. Doctor! Eh? What? Kurt, Kurt, listen to me. I want you to lie down. Take a break. Relax. What? I can't hear you. I don't want to alarm you, but there's something very behind you. Look, it's conspicuous. There's something behind... What? What? I... Turn around, you... <clears throat> Ow! Whoa!